Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Saga and I'm currently a software engineer in London. And in this video, I'm gonna to share to you some of the best ways to set up your VS Code to have the best development environment. So first thing I like to do when I set up my VS Code is to make sure I have format on save selected in the settings. And this way, if you're anytime going to save your code, the code automatically formats nicely for you. So all your indentation is perfect and so on. And and because, well, I'm a real programmer, I have my VS code with the dark plus appearance, which is the, just the default dark appearance of VS Code. Now let's move on to some of the extensions I use on VS Code. And these extensions are basically what makes VS Code such a great tool to use to write code. So the first one is better comments. And with this, you're able to basically differentiate the types of comments you're writing in your code. So you can write comments that are to-do comments, or you can have comments that are basically flagging up different things that you need to do to your code and it's really easy to tell what comment does what because each one is color coded differently. The second extension I have is bracket pair colorizer and this basically as the name suggests it colorizes your bracket pairs and this is so that it makes it easier to see whenever you have nested brackets as to which bracket is relating to which other bracket and so therefore you're able to easily navigate through your code and find when your brackets aren't quite adding up together. Live server is another awesome VS Code extension that you should have when you're running VS Code because it allows you to basically run your app or web app if that's what you're developing on a local environment. So when you go to your browser and search localhost colon whatever, you're going to be able to see your website live and any changes that you do on VS Code and save them will be represented live on the website. Moving on to Live Share. Now Live Share is an awesome tool if you're collaborating with someone else when writing code. And it's very similar to how you would write on the same like Google document online if you're editing the same Word document or PowerPoint. And I think this brings a whole new level to the meaning of pair programming because you're able to work simultaneously together on the same piece of code. And I think that's kind of interesting. I mean, for some people it works, for some people it doesn't, but I think it's always a, a handy tool to have if you're talking to someone remotely and want to explain to them how the code works, or maybe they want to show you how to implement a piece of code. And here's a little bonus extension that I have, which is GitHub Copilot. And this extension is not available to everyone just yet and you have to register for a waiting list and then you should get email dropping in your inbox someday saying you have access to GitHub Copilot. And basically GitHub Copilot is like a even more advanced version of autocomplete. Some of the cool things I find with this GitHub Copilot is that you're able to just write a comment and once you click enter, it auto fills a, a guess of what the function that you want to write will be, which I think is pretty powerful. And and for things that are done on a regular basis and, and quite common between all programmers, sometimes it gives you suggestions that you need to do. For example, if you are importing a file, it'll just auto-complete whatever you have to import. So that is basically the way I like to set up my VS Code as a software engineer in London. And hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. And if you do want more videos like this, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. See you in another video, but if you do want to see what I do at work, then do click on this video. See you around, guys.